auxiliary machines in diesel electric locomotives are the auxiliary generator, the exciter generator, the front truck traction motor blower and the eddy current clutch assembly. We'll first talk about the maintenance procedures of the auxiliary generator. The maintenance procedures for both the auxiliary generator and the exciter generator are the same. Clean the surface and covers of the auxiliary generator thoroughly with a clean lintless cloth. Then air blow the auxiliary generator with dry compressed air of pressure 2 to 4 kg per centimeter square. Then clean the interiors of the auxiliary generator with a clean lintless cloth moistened with the recommended solvent. Check the backlash between the bull gear and the pinions. The backlash should be appropriate. Check the auxiliary machine for signs of oil leakage. If there are any signs of oil leakage from the rubber or ring and the felt oil seal from the fan side, attend to it accordingly. Check all the carbon brushes of the auxiliary generator. If any carbon brush is not moving freely in its holder, clean the carbon brush with lintless cloth. Also, clean the pockets with clean lintless cloth. If any carbon brush is broken or damaged or has reached its critical size, change the carbon brush. If the copper braids of the carbon brush pigtail shunt has got damaged, overheated or worn out, change the carbon brush. Now check the commutator condition. The color of the film over the commutator should be uniform. Ensure that all the interconnectors of the auxiliary generator are properly secured and are not touching any moving part of the machine. Check and ensure that all the cables are properly secured in their pipes. Ensure that the dowel pin is properly welded on the body of the auxiliary generator. After all the checks have been carried out, fit the cover of the auxiliary generator properly. Check all the foundation bolts of the auxiliary generator. All the bolts should be fully tightened. Open the terminal box of the auxiliary generator and check all the terminal connections of the generator. Ensure that all the connections are fully tightened and the thimbles are properly crimped. Check the foundation bolts of the front truck traction motor blower. All the bolts should be completely tightened. Check the backlash of the FTTM blower by checking the circumferential movement of the blower fan. The backlash should be appropriate. Air blow the eddy current clutch assembly with dry compressed air. Open the carbon brush holder caps of the TCC assembly and check all the carbon brushes. The carbon brushes should move freely in their sockets. 
Check the size of the carbon brush. If it has reached its critical limit, change the carbon brush. If the pigtail shunt of the carbon brush is overheated or worn out, change the carbon brush. All the carbon brushes should be properly seated on the slip ring. Check the wires, conduit pipe and the terminal box of the ECC assembly. The wires should be properly secured and the terminal box should be properly clamped. In the ECC assembly, check the condition of the slip ring. If the slip ring has flash marks or burnt marks, clean with lintless cloth or emery paper. There should be no rubbing between the rotor and drum of the ECC. Check the current drawing by the ECC coil. The value of current drawn should be less than 8.5 amperes.